everyone here this, this morning. Um, we're here, fantastic occasion, and um, thank you all for coming and joining us this morning. Uh, I'd like to welcome the Mayor of London, Boris Johnson, to Elm Park Primary School, to Elm Park. A number of times I've been to Elm Park now. I have. I'm delighted to have you here uh, and to ask you to uh, open the school edition. Um, this school was. Um, like we have a vision to build new schools in Cambridge, and this is the first new school in 30 years. And I think it's an absolute fantastic achievement for us and for all those involved in, in delivering this. I think it, um, it says everything about the council's aspiration, not only for this area, but for education for our Havering. You know that Havering is one of the top performers when it comes to uh, education. And this fantastic school absolutely meets with our ambition for education and the way in which we see it as a priority here locally in Haiti. As you've seen, Boris, it's an eco friendly. You probably saw the bike shed as you came in. And I know uh, Boris is really keen on bike art and cycling, so I'll probably say something about that. So um, I think it's a fantastic facility. And I, I want to thank this is not for the work that she did, uh, John Ferry, and everyone. Uh, in our education department for <coughs> making making this happen. Uh, it's a fantastic building and I'm now going to hand over to you Boris to, to say a few words. Well thank you very, very much Mike and uh, what a pleasure to be here. I'm thrilled I was a few moments uh, late getting here but I think what it was I had to open a barber shop in, in Elm Park. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't have time as you can probably tell to go to the barber but um, <laughs> that, that, that is next on the agenda. I've been so busy. I just want to say, what an amazing experience it is. What an incredible school. And I've seen the future, folks. I feel like, I feel like that, that job of reading A Brave New World, where the, the guy goes around the school of the future. This is it. I, mean, I don't just mean the, the ensuite toilets, <laughs> the classrooms, which apparently the, the, the children demanded, quite rightly. And I don't just mean the multi-use games area, or mugger, which is outside, or the, what other beautiful the bike sheds, the green roof, beautiful green roof. What else uh, wonderful things have I seen? Uh, this amazing Danish style amphitheatre come staircase. Do you like it? Yeah. It is. It's a brilliant, I mean, it's a brilliant piece of design. But the most exciting thing, the most, the most futuristic thing I've seen was a conversation I just had with Bradley. Bradley, yeah, Bradley. Bradley told me something that made my that made me feel so antiquated. It made, it made, it made, make some of you who look pretty young and thrusting uh, make, make you feel pretty antiquated. Do you know what he said? He said, they now have such brilliant and beautiful computers, paid for by a Haven. Well done. Beautiful apples, that they basically prefer to use the computers and to write on them. Isn't that amazing? But also well, <laughs> but that, that is the future, isn't it? And I'm told there are now schools in America where handwriting <coughs> is no longer part of the scene. And so our children, our grandchildren, are basically going to be using gizmos of one kind or another to type rather than to write. Isn't that amazing? Do you think that's amazing? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? The good thing is that, yeah, what do you think? Well, I, I'm not, that's what the younger generation What does the older generation think? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's the, it's the, it's the future. Uh, things are changing in education, they're changing in a good way, but some things stay the same, don't they? Whatever, no matter what brilliant technology you have, some things stay the same. And they are, you need great teachers, there's lots, all the rest of the staff, obviously doing a fantastic job. You need a committed bunch of parents to help keep school on the going forward in the way that it is. You need a, a far-sighted borough council to lash out extraordinary sums of money to build it. Well done, Mike. And what else do you need? That's about it, isn't it? You need children. <laughs> you need happy, contented and dynamic children. And uh, you guys are our future, aren't you? I mean, you're, 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 they're all going to be paying for our pensions. <laughs> and so we sincerely hope. And I hope very much that next year you are going to be able to enjoy the, uh, the Olympic Games. Yes? Did you know that you can get free tickets to the Olympic Games? No, but you can. 
Thanks to you, Nixon's the man. <laughs> <laughs> there are free tickets for the Olympic Games. All London schools are eligible, and I very hope that Elm Park will be in the, in the front of the queue, because it's going to be a massive, massive event, and I want as many people as possible to watch it and to enjoy it, because we need to inspire our young people, not just to achieve, achieve fantastic things academically, but also, of course, to be the sporting champions of the future, right? Because what, what's very important about next year, we've got to beat France. <laughs> and we've got to beat Australia. Because last, last time we came fourth, and it's going to be very difficult to come fourth again. So I hope you'll go to the game, but I hope you'll enjoy it. And congratulations on choosing your beautiful purple uniform. They chose it too, as well as the ensuite toilets. <laughs> and congratulations on dictating the diet here. Apparently you, you run the, is that right? You like to have, is that right? They like to have pizza <coughs> and chips. And, I must, I must, I must lose the, lose the, lose the support of this car. <laughs> Congratulations on, on what you're doing, uh, everybody here. And can I just say to uh, the council, to the parents, everybody who's worked so hard to produce what I think is a truly sensational new school, that I have great, great pleasure in declaring Elm Park Primary School even more open than it was. <laughs> Thank you. Well, 